Hebe, theatrical romantic body type, is Scarlett O'Hara from Gone with the Wind type of woman. And I would like to remind those who came to my channel searching for information about types according to David Kibbe's theory that my typing is based on the works of David and his book Metamorphosis, but may and will definitely differ from the original interpretation and the very source. This is because I have practiced all the information in my work with my clients, so it is based on my practical stylistic experience and knowledge as a professional artist, my view and feel of the person and my perception of external and internal factors such as the entire essence of the personality. I also ask you to include your common senses both to this and to any other information given to you. So here I go, I'm going to take Kibi's original 13 types and discuss them as I see them. Theatrical romantic body type is characterized by several features of the romantic type. However, the mixture of dramatic features play a significant role here. A pinch of the yang, the divine male element, added to the most feminine type of beauty that the romantic type stands for, adds tremendous changes into appearance and even the temperament, which is the whole essence of the personality. The Oscar winner Charming Vivian Leigh is considered the leading representative of the theatrical romantic character. Looking closely at her face, we will see the warrior hidden behind a gentle feminine beauty. The masculine element Ying, the divine male, makes the face of theatrical romantic women no longer just gentle romantic, they become somewhat intriguing. A seductive sensual appearance replaces delicate beauty. Kibi himself called the representatives of this type femme fatale. They have a striking appearance with expressive facial features. Moreover, Vivian Leigh often played the role of seductive femme fatale in her personal and professional life. Before, Vivian played Scarlett O'Hara, a theatrical romantic type that flourished in Hollywood. Her stage image inspired even the young Norma Jean, who became known uh, to the world as Marilyn Monroe, who faithfully followed the style of her idol. Unfortunately, Marilyn did not have the strong charisma typical to theatrical romantic type. The expressive look of Marilyn is the result of several fixes and complete uh, hair recoloring, I would say. The romantic Marilyn spent three hours every day in front of the mirror to introduce herself to the world as theatrical romantic. As you see, she tried sharp, thin eyebrows, pointy lips, but a typical romantic essence that she had cannot be covered that easy. Ying manifests itself in appearance of theatrical romantic in graceful physique and elegantly rounded shapes combined with a very thin waist. Expressive eyes, plump lips, wide hips are all Ying features in appearance, but unlike pure romantic type, there is influence of, of Ying. These are sharp shoulders, high cheekbones, pointy nose and chin, but not large delicate. The face looks very sharp but delicate, they are quite miniature overall. The appearance of Thumbelina with a sharp character. Theatrical romantic body construction features. Height low or medium, up to 170 cm, I would say on the average 167, moderately long vertical lines, depends on how rounded the silhouette is as well. Body type, hourglass or pear type, looks quite miniature, very exquisite, thin looking hourglass. Shoulder. Shoulders, slightly sloping, straight might be angular, arms and legs, not too long, hands and feet, narrow, small in relation to the height. Bust, medium, waist, clearly visible, thighs, rounded, forearms, not too long, slightly rounded. When gaining weight, the theatrical romantic remains rounded, hourglass body shape. In the waist, and the waist remains contoured. The weight distributes proportionally, so it does not get squared. Excess weight is most visible on the thighs, arms, and a face I would say lower face a little bit. 
face characteristics lower face slightly pointed i would say quite chiseled nose thin narrow sharp could be wide but still pointy cheekbones slightly defined and could be high eyes large medium very expressive lips beautifully defined slightly full cheeks slightly rounded firm uh, the significant difference between the theatrical and romantic type is not limited to bone structure. The female yin, the divine female element, has much less influence on the entire body in theatrical romantic type than in the romantic type. The structure of the skeleton is delicate, medium-sized bones with slightly sharp angles, shoulders, knees, face. It can be sharp nose, high cheekbones, small palms and feet. The body shape is feminine, soft, lush but not wide. The waist is visible and the chest might be small to medium. There is some softness in the facial features, for example, plum lips, soft cheeks. The eyes could be large uh, with almond shape, for example, a Swedish type of the face. Style recommendations. Kibi recommends a silhouette that emphasizes the figure, a rounded shape with intricate and rich decorations with medium-sized details. It would be best if you always emphasize the silhouette of the hourglass body shape. It is desirable that the shoulders are emphasized but not too wide and slightly pointed. The lines should be soft and easy to drape. The fabric should be lightweight and soft to provide drapery and flow. Soft textures like velvet, fluffy textures like angora will work well for you. The details in the image should be complex, rich, delicate and abundant. Bows, frills, ruffles, medium-sized applique. Exquisite buttons might be present as well. The colors are bright and juicy. You can play with the color and texture, but never create a very sharp contrast between the top and the bottom that might make you look shorter than you actually are. Jackets and blazers. It, it should be short, fitted, fitted at the waist. Basque peplum may be present. The lapels should be pointed. Rich decoration and small details are also welcome. Skirts. It should showcase a feminine silhouette. A tulip skirt to the knee length or flowing, not stiff skirts with a symmetrical hemline up to mid cuff. A high waist is welcome here. Trousers. Should be soft, emphasizing the curves of the body. High waisted again. Blouses. Theatrical romantic needs soft, light ones with draperies and accentuated shoulders over here. Richly decorated with complex decor could be suitable. Knitwear. Soft and fluffy sweaters with a soft and rounded neckline. Rich trim and catchy patterns are possible. Dresses. Looking for graceful options with accentuated waist and emphasis on the shoulders as well. Richly decorated with an abundance of detail. Soft cutouts. The Bags. Small, rounded shapes made of soft, pliable leather or fabric with intricate, luxurious ornament and intricate finishes. Gucci bags are good for you. Bags with graceful shoulder straps made of light, soft leather, suede textiles. Clutches, crossbody uh, made of unusual materials. Decorations and jewelry. The theatrical romantic body type character cannot do without them. Minimalism and simplicity will, ne will never be as good enough. The form of jewelry should be round, complex, intricate. The shine of stones and metal, even for day trips, coincide with the essence of theatrical romantic type. The main thing is the complexity and elegance at the same time. Hairstyle. Hair should be always well groomed and I would say voluminous. The shape should be rounded and soft. Soft curls and waves uh, will, will do you good, like Victoria's Secret waves. 
thank you so much for staying here with me. I hope this information was useful for you. And if you liked it, please don't forget to subscribe, put a like, and let me know what you think in the comments down below. And see you in the next episode.